חבל יוסף תיאר את עצמי שנעור בלילה לעשות צרכיו ודעתו לחזור מיד לישון אם חוזר לישון באופן שיש לחוש שיעבור זמן כדי שיוכל לברך אשר יצר יטול את הידיו כדי לברך אשר יצר ואם המים רחוקים יש לו טורח גדול ילך ליטול את ידיו וגם חושש שעל ידי שיטול את ידיו לא יוכל לחזור ולישון בשעת הדחק כזו ינקה ידיו במידי דמנקה ויברך אשר יצא. A person has a house. He, on the third floor, his restroom has a sink inside there. Now he's sleeping. He got up to the middle of the night to the restroom. In the middle of the night he got to the restroom. Aaron Famidim. Now, what he wants to do? Asher Yatsar. But he says, Rabbi, if I will do Nutilat Yadayim right now inside the restroom, the water is going to touch my body. I'm not going to be able to sleep anymore. That's it. I'm going to be tired 2-3 o'clock in the morning. I'm not going to be uh, functioning tomorrow. What should I do, Rabbi? Can I go back to sleep and say, Asher Yatsar? I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. In 2 hours, I'll say, Asher Yatsar. Can I say the Asher Yatsar when I wake up or no? Two hours will pass. Says Ravadia, if 72 minutes will pass, you're not allowed to say the Asher Yatsar after. Hachikunam, if I'm going to do Netilat Yadayim now, uh, today to say Asher Yatsar, I'm going to lose my, uh, my sleep. What should I do? Says Ravadia, in such a case, a person has a shata dahak, he's allowed to take a towel, he's allowed to take a certain garment, and go wipe your hands against the garment, and this will count your Netilat Yadayim. Garment, when a person goes against his blanket, whatever it is, it's, it doesn't bother so much the sleep. Water wakes up a person more. So it says, if a person will be not able to do Nitilat Yadayim with water because he's going to lose his sleep, he's allowed to do Nitilat Yadayim with a towel. He's allowed to do Nitilat Yadayim with the, the washing of the hands. Instead of water, use a towel, use something else. And like this, you're going to lose your sleep less. You're going to be still in the mood of sleeping. But, and then say, say, but what if a person woke up he woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning to the restroom. 5 o'clock in the morning, his alarm clock is going to ring. Anyway, he's going to wake up. So he says, Rabbi, between 4 o'clock that I went to the restroom till 5 o'clock when I'm going to wake up, it's going to only pass one hour. I have a deadline of 72 minutes. So instead of doing right now with a towel, with the water, I'm going to back sleep. And at 5 o'clock, I'm going to wake up. At 5 o'clock, I'll say, Asher Yatsar. says, the Allah is allowed to do this. Because within 72 minutes, to the time that he used the restroom, he's allowed to say the Asher Yatsar when he's going to wake up. If it's longer than 72 minutes period of uh, time, then he has to do the Asher Yatsar at that moment. If the, he can do with water, it's the best. If he says, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to lose my sleep, he's allowed to do the Netilat Yadayim, sort of saying, with the towel, and afterwards say Asher Yatsar, in order not to let 72 minutes pass before the Bracha Asher Yatsar. Amar Ibi Hanina, tell me, they have a man, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.